So as you know, there's quite a bit of conflict right now uh, between veganism and the meat eaters. And my viewpoint is if you want to go vegan, go for it. I have no problem with that. The only challenge I have is if you do it unhealthily. So if you look at some of the videos right now, the critiques on this movie, they're going back and forth on certain points um, with the athletes, with different studies. I'm going to take this in a different direction. So my ultimate goal is to basically get people to eat real food. Now, the problem is defining what that means, right? So I'm just going to take the definition of the word food out of the dictionary. That which is eaten to sustain life, provide energy, and promote the growth and repair of tissues. Nourishment. It comes from the derivation, which means nutrients. So as long as you're getting your nutrients and your fuel, you're eating food. Now, it's a lot more challenging to get all your nutrients being a vegan. Uh, like zinc, for example, which is very high in shellfish and fish and meat, but not very high in vegetables. Iron is more readily available in animal products. However, on the flip side of that, there's a lot of people that have too much iron because it's really hard to get rid of iron, in which case I would highly recommend they avoid red meat if they have excessive amounts of iron because this could be very, very damaging on the liver and the brain. Same thing with calcium. If they're not consuming dairy, it's a little more difficult to get calcium. And also DHA, which is an omega-3 fatty acid. Now in vegan foods, you're gonna get ALA, which converts to DHA, but not in a significant way. However, you can get DHA from algae. B12, which is mainly in animal products. However, you can find it in wheatgrass juice powder. Uh, but I would recommend adding that if you want to become a vegan. And vitamin D, of course, you can get this from the sun. So as long as you're getting all your nutrients and you're getting high quality of protein, uh, you could be a vegan and be perfectly healthy. Now there are a couple of points I do want to mention because when I was in practice, I had a lot of vegans coming in over the years that consume absolutely zero vegetables, okay? And they were consuming a tremendous amount of bread, pasta, fruit, and sugar, and they basically were not very healthy. Uh, some were losing their teeth, some were losing their hair. So if you were to consume more vegetables that have the minerals, the folate, the vitamin C, and the phytonutrients, that would be much, much better than consuming bread and potato and refined carbs. Now, if you're trying to lose weight or you have insulin resistance or you're a pre-diabetic or a diabetic, it's just more difficult being a vegan because trying to keep your carbs low and your fats high and your protein at a moderate amount is just more difficult. And on the flip side, when I talk about healthy keto, I'm actually comparing that to something called dirty keto, which doesn't emphasize vegetables. I do. I recommend more vegetables than most vegan plans out there. I recommend seven to 10 cups of vegetables every single day. Now, just because someone's doing keto doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that they're eating healthier foods or higher quality foods or satisfying all their nutrient requirements. So I think there actually is both unhealthy versions of keto and unhealthy versions of veganism. But the bottom line is just making sure you're getting all your nutrients. Being a vegan, you're going to have to know how to do it correctly and enhance your diet with supplements to fulfill those potential missing nutrients. The other point I want to bring up is if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, I highly recommend not being a vegan because of the chance of having some deficiencies that could be a big problem in the development of that child. Now, there are two other points I want to mention because in Game Changers, they're really talking about the dangers of eating animal products. Well, I would love to see just one little study that shows any negative effects from consuming grass-fed, grass-finished organic meats or organic eggs. There is no studies that show any negative effects. So when we recommend healthy keto, we're recommending high quality ingredients. Some of the studies that vegans quote are done with processed foods based on questionnaires, which I believe are not valid. And the last point is this. If someone has gut inflammation, celiac, irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's, something like that, I do not recommend consuming a lot of vegetables. I do not recommend being a vegan with all the beans and the legumes. 
I recommend actually being a carnivore for two or three months, get your gut to reset and heal, then start slowly adding vegetables into the diet. And I think that would be the best approach. Anyway, there you have it, my opinion on game changers. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.